Okay, so we're going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of Elastic Path Commerce Cloud um, and talk through the, the, the few authentication methods, how we create products, how we extend products, how we add images and hierarchies and all, all that. We're gonna do all this um, and we're going to be stepping through Postman and showing how the APIs interact with the platform. <clears throat> and we're gonna show through this, um, the dashboard commerce manager, uh, kind of how all that ends up appearing in the dashboard. Um, and then we'll show a little bit about the, uh, um, uh, how to manage the, the data once it's in here. Okay. Um, so there's, there's really three basic authentication methods. We're gonna talk about two primarily here. Um, there's the implicit token, um, the implicit token. Oh, and I've set up an environment here in Postman. Um, and I have those keys that were shown on the home screen. Um, so the, the uh, base URL, the client ID and the client secret are set up here. So you see we've got the client ID, the client secret and the base URL. And then from the base URL, uh, we'll look at the, um, the OAuth access token endpoint, where we're gonna pass in the client ID and the grant type as implicit. And then we're going to store that as the implicit token um, in the environment. So hit send on that. <clears throat> so we get back an access token. And so now our environment has this implicit token stored uh, temporarily. All right. The implicit token is used for the read only uh, customer facing, you know, so it's the token that is exposed on your website um, and gives the front end website access to the products and information, it allows you to create carts, add to cart, um, and initiate an order. Um, to once, once you create client, uh, customer login, then in order to get to your orders, you have to use the customer token. We're not going to uh, worry about that. Uh, today. Uh, the next uh, level of token is the client credentials token. And this is what we're going to be using for all of our requests uh, in this these videos, um, because we're going to be adding products and extending products and, and whatnot, uh, creating price books and catalogs and hierarchies, etc. So client credentials is what's needed for any kind of real operations where you're creating data, deleting data, updating data. So this does the same thing. It passes in the client ID, then it also passes in the client secret and the client credentials as the grant type. So it send, and that then stores into a client, to client token uh, environment variable. And we can see that uh, got created here. Okay, and that's good for an hour. So you, don't, you only have to update your token every hour. Um, and so that's uh, authentication, that's the first step. 